On August 29, 1949, the former Soviet Union detonated what would be the first of more than 450 nuclear warheads at their new testing site in eastern Kazakhstan. Just 100 miles away, the people in the industrial city of Semipalatinsk watched as the sky lit up and radiation filled the air. Today, that city is called Semi. It has been more than 20 years since a nuclear bomb was tested here, but for the people of Semi, nuclear testing is not a thing of the past. Every day, many residents in Semi live with the legacy of those tests. For these people, the consequences of nuclear testing, the devastating effects of nuclear radiation are clear. Over the four decades of nuclear tests, approximately 1.5 million people in the region were affected. Today, one in 20 children is born with deformities. The cancer rate is 50% higher here than elsewhere in the country. Many of the population die before reaching 60. Not many of the people who lived in Semi throughout the tests are alive today to tell their stories, but the lives of their children and grandchildren tell their own cautionary tale. Governments around the world know with certainty that the side effects of nuclear weapons and testing are illness, unending environmental devastation and death. The people of Semi, the Bikini Atoll, the Marshall Islands, Nagasaki and Hiroshima have lived it. Some countries such as Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Belarus and South Africa have already eliminated their nuclear weapons or abandoned their nuclear weapons programs. Through the decisions of its president, Nazarbayev, Kazakhstan has also shut down the infamous Semipalatinsk nuclear test site. Yet other countries could have done much more to help create a nuclear safe world. The United Nations is working to build national and global security without nuclear weapons, establish regional nuclear weapons free zones, put an end to testing and ultimately free the world of its nuclear arsenal. One of the most concrete steps towards achieving this goal would be pushing through the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. The very existence and availability of weapons-grade fissile material in nuclear states such as North Korea, as well as the appeal of nuclear devices as the ultimate weapon, increase the risk of global nuclear terrorism. If we stop nuclear weapons testing and secure all fissile material, then we also substantially reduce the threat of nuclear terrorism. The people of Semi, Nevada and the Marshall Islands didn't know they'd become the victims of nuclear radiation. But if you're watching this, you now know that their fate could be your own. But together we have the power to stop nuclear weapons testing. Today we have the power to create a nuclear safe world. By joining together we can let the people all over the world affected by nuclear weapons testing know we heard their story. Make your mark by telling the world leaders that you want to live in a nuclear safe world. Go to theatomproject.org and sign the petition. Let's act now and stop nuclear weapons testing.